Hey you guys, what is up? This is your boy MMM here and we are back with another video. So before we get into this video, I just want to say comment down below what your favorite build in 2K20 is and um, like the video, doesn't hurt to like, one like will help the video out a lot and subscribe if you guys are new. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we're going to be making the, the two LeBron James builds, so like the best builds that replicate LeBron James playstyle. Um, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so first, it's gonna be the facilitating finisher. Small forward position, right-handed or left-handed, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna do this for um, video purpose. So you wanna pick the red and yellow or orange pie chart. This build is one of the best pie charts in 2K, in my opinion. Um, for this, there's a lot what you can do over here, but I recommend speed because speed kills. Vertical is also really good because you can get easier rebounds and stuff, but speed, trust me, it'll help a lot in the long run. All right, for this, just take up my um, phone over here. All right, max out this, 75, 82. So you should have seven finishing badges. You can't go any lower than that. Um, or else you get six, so just keep it 75. Max this out, max this out, max this out, and then max this out. Go lower, you get nine, you want ten. Ten shooting badges is really good in 2k, so keep it like that. All right, pass accuracy, max it, max this, and then post moves try to get to 15, so that should be 52. And for the rest. Just to max this out, as you guys can see over here. And then put the rest in defensive rebounding. You guys should have 17. You guys play around with this. Um, get more finishing, get more defense, get more playmaking. But this is a pretty solid build. I think this build replicates LeBron James in a really great way. Uh, built, whatever. Keep it at 6-7. If you go lower, it doesn't look as good. But... If you go high, it ruins the speed and everything else. So you want to keep it just six, seven. Um, weight, it's up to you. I'd just lower the weight all the way, 181, because that acceleration is just amazing to have. And LeBron James is pretty fast on on the court. So for this, um, you guys don't want to go low. Trust me, I know you have a six, seven, three point, but this is mostly a defensive game. And defense is amazing in 2K, so I recommend you put it all the way up or lower, like just lower it one. But I put it all the way up in my opinion. You still have um, pro handle moves, so yeah. Playmaking, lockdown, and slasher. Um, I recommend lockdown. Playmaking is also really good, but it's kind of hard to get playmaking this year. But yeah, lockdown is pretty solid. And then you guys should make the facilitating finish abilities you guys see over here um i'm not gonna test the build because i don't want to waste your guys' time so without further ado let's get into the playmaking glass cleaner um this is a very solid build um if you guys play 2k you guys probably see this build everywhere but yeah let's let's make this version if you guys want to see how people play with this playmaking glass cleaner watch a youtuber called nut and extra nut <laughs> i know it sounds weird but that's his youtube channel go check it out um so for this you guys want to pick i didn't even say um the red and yellow pie chart or orange pie chart i don't care i'm just gonna call it yellow from now on but red and yellow pie chart all right you guys want most speed because as you guys know 2k is doing 70 percent speed and then 30 percent ball handle this year so you guys want to pick speed and yes, this build can speed boost. So, driving layup. Put that up to a 64. Max out driving dunk. 71. Max all these out, except for post fade. Put it to 71. Now, playmaking. Max it out. Max it out. And then it should be 76. You can put it like 78, but I mean, one extra is not going to hurt, you know? So, interior defense, max it out. Perimeter D, 67. Because you're not, because this is mostly like guarding centers. So, recommend that. 68. You're not going to be really still in the ball because you're going to have minimum wingspan. So, just leave that alone. Max this out. Max this out. And then, 
max this out and you should have one finish and I know that doesn't look really that good but the driving dunk is really all you need to make this a LeBron James build um, shooting is very solid 10 shooting badges playmaking it, it could speed boost when if you guys see this over here um, defense and rebounding is very solid 20 so it can guard centers no problem um, now the height 67 I feel is too small 6a would be just right but and 69 do not keep it 69 put a 610 don't even make this build but 68 is pretty solid still tall um can guard a lot of good positions in the game so let's go 68 and you see his speed is 84 speed 79 acceleration amazing stats right now and for this i recommend putting it i think 204 yeah 204 82 acceleration it was a little a little bit of strength but even if the centers are backing you down you just have like hall of fame post move lockdown hall of fame moving truck and you'll be all set um, 204 and then wingspan do not put it do not put it uh, maximum trust me put it minimum as you can go because look at the ball handle 72 ball handle that's amazing for a power forward that can speed boost even at 99 it gets I think plus four plus five if I'm not mistaken so you do the math on that now you get the playmaking takeover it breaks ankles one of the best in my opinion takeovers in the game you guys pick other ones but playmaking is where it's at because when you activate a takeover you can speed boost and guys, we have the playmaking glass cleaner, as you guys see over here. Um, it's a very solid build. Um, if you guys test the build, you guys can test the build. I'm not gonna test it because for time purpose. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see some other build videos down below, comment down below. And let me know. Like the video doesn't hurt to like. Subscribe if you guys are new. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care and peace.